Welcome to Ucanic. In this video, we're going to show you how to connect your Ucanic scanner to the internet and also how to get remote support. So, if you want, what you want to do is turn on the scanner. This is your home screen. The first thing is you want to make sure that um, you connect the scanner to the internet. Your home screen might look slightly different depending on the model of the scanner you have, but you should have a settings button on the home screen. If you don't see it on the home screen, scroll to the right. It could be on the second screen. But in this case, it's right here. So we go to settings and then you go to system settings and then you go to network and internet and then you turn that on and then you press on Wi-Fi. And then here you're gonna see the uh, names of your uh, internet. So it does work on 2.4 gigahertz. So if you have, uh, if your modem is only broadcasting at five um, gigahertz, uh, frequency you want to enable 2.4 gigahertz as well same thing if you're using a phone and you're using a phone hotspot some phones will allow you to in enable a 2.4 uh, gigahertz so if your hotspot is on but you don't see it here you need to uh, enable a 2.4 um, some phones on the settings under hotspot settings will say enable legacy devices so enable that and then you select it and then you enter the password all right, so once you enter the password for your internet Wi-Fi, you hit connect and then we can see it's connected, okay? So you press this button to go back, all the way back, all the way back. So on this home screen, even if it looks slightly different, what you'll do is you'll swipe to the right and then click remote control. And press agree and continue. Skip this and press done. And then it says activating team viewer and it says your ID. Now it's going to populate an ID there. It takes about five seconds to show that. So there is the ID and it says ready to connect. Uh, this ID you'll need to send to give it to our tech support. Don't you send my ID uh, if you're on the phone or someone send, give them that ID uh, 19, in this case 4016-4638. So once we have that ID, this is going to show a window and when we try to connect to your device it's going to give us one time access and if we need to connect again you're going to, we're going to have to do this again because we don't have permanent access to your device 638 so as we tr try to connect it'll say would you like allow remote support would you like to allow you can tech support and then you press allow and then from here our tech support can help and control a run a scan, troubleshoot your device, or if we're looking at your car, maybe we can run diagnostics and things of that nature. But that's how you connect the scanner to the internet and get support. Thank you for watching your channel where you can be the mechanic.